so before we get today started, I've got a couple errands to run, mostly for the MR2. There's a couple of things I need to order, which I'll explain later, but I have to drop off my dad's copy machine off to a place to fix it. That seems to be in there pretty well. Before we get going, let's get a quick cold start for you guys. So at the start of the video, I told you guys that we have some errands to run. Uh, obviously, we've got the coffee machine right there. So we have to take that coffee machine down to a place to get it fixed. But we also have some things that we're going to be picking up for the MR2. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've been parking the car in my parents' garage for pretty much the whole time that I've owned it, so one year. And they're getting pretty fed up with it, so I've had to buy an alarm so I could park it outside because cars like this do get stolen. This car doesn't have any sort of like alarm system at all, so we're going to be picking up an alarm for the car. Now, also, I'm going to hop outside the car for this. We are going to be ordering some ready side skirts for the side of the MR2. Oh, baby. It's looking good right now. It's kind of a shitty day, so it's not going to be picking out much light but pretty much this lip here is very low and into and it doesn't let the whole car flow at a low level so I'm heading down today to a place to order some gritty side skirts I've been looking at these side skirts for a long time I've always wanted to have them um, I've finally saved up some money and we're gonna be copying that today but they're not gonna come for another three to four weeks but I'll quickly show you a picture of what the car will hopefully look like when it's uh, completed So that's our PO Box 2178, uh, address is down below if you guys want to send me stuff. Nice, nice. So I believe that's my alarm. Nice, nice. So if you guys want to ever send me some stuff, I've got my address down in the description below. I've had it there for a while. Still haven't received anything yet, but yeah, it's just there if you guys ever want to send me something. Let's get on to the last thing. Let's go get these side skirts ordered in. That's my alarm. Is it? Yep. <laughs> That's gonna be fun for the boat. Oh, yes. So I just ordered the side skirts. We're at this place. Uh, it's called DT Panels uh, in Melbourne. And the cars outside are crazy. We've got just an NSX sitting out the front, just behind all those cars. Every single car here is just JDM modified crazy. One day, one day. Uh, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Everything chilly. Lachlan and I are gonna get some boba tea. Some gongcha. Some gongcha. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> so we're just gonna head back now and. And what? Still another exciting part. We're going to install another exciting part, but I'm also going to be talking about what the title is of this video. And we're back, guys. So I thought in today's video that I'll talk about some of the biggest mods that I plan to do with the MR2. And that really is just an engine swap, a uh, transmission swap, simply for uh, more power. So currently I do have a four cylinder naturally aspirated 3SGE five speed manual and I've been pretty happy with it so far. It does produce a decent amount of power for a uh, P-plate legal car, has a nice tone to it, but honestly I want more. So here's the engine bay, looking pretty clean I guess at the moment. So for those who don't know, MR2s actually come out in two variants, two engine types. Uh, there's obviously the 3SGE, 5SFE I think, um, and then there's the turbo versions of those motors. Now. The turbos obviously produce a lot more power than the naturally aspirated ones. We have a visitor here. Yeah. Oh, you're him! <laughs> but obviously right now with the 3SGE, I am not satisfied. So there's a couple of options that I have for a V6 swap. I've got the 1MZ FE and then there's also the 3VZ FE. Now the 1MZ FE I'm pretty familiar with because my Camry over there actually has a 1MZ FE. And it is a pretty common swap, but it isn't as common as the 3VZ FEs as they have like the same kind of fuel adaptations, I guess. 
with the same with the MR2 here. Now I think if I put one of those engines in, I'll get around 13.5 second quarter miles, you know, zero to 100 in like like a quick time rather than like 17 seconds or whatever this car does. But there is actually like quite a bit of support for these engine swaps on forums. Um, there's even YouTube videos all over online. It is definitely a swap that I want to do. Now the other option is I go turbo, but the thing is if I do go turbo, it's better off just selling the whole entire car and getting a turbo MR2. I've already done quite a few mods to this car. I've put coilovers, sway bars, shifter modifications, and I feel like it's just going to be a hassle if I have to sell and get a turbo. The turbo is obviously going to produce a lot more power, but it won't be as torquey in the low RPMs, which is what I'm looking for. I want that pushback feel, so that's why I've settled on doing a V6 engine swap. I haven't really like fully decided, I guess. Seeing all those videos online, you'll be able to tell that it is a pretty exciting swap. You can definitely get a lot of power out of it. I've actually seen an MR2 that has a V6 in it. Uh, it sounded amazing, but I don't know, you gotta have a lot of experience doing the engine swap. That's one negative to it. Something interesting as well is that there is plenty of space in this small MR2 engine bay. Like you'd think there wouldn't be much space being like such a like small car that's only a two-seater and everything, but there is a very big amount of space for a V6 swap. Heaps of room on this side, heaps of clearance on that side. That's just mostly exhaust over there. But yeah, it's definitely a very doable swap. But I think that I talked about before doing a transmission swap, it's because my transmission currently is leaking. Um, it also has a problem with the drain plug, so the person that previously owned the car, I don't know if it was them or the person before them, but the drain plug and the fuel plug has been completely stripped. So currently it's covered in silastic, so it doesn't uh, spill everywhere, but it's just a little bit of a hassle because it's slowly dripping and I have to keep getting it topped up and getting that sealant applied again. In the market for actually an S54 gearbox, if anyone knows, if anyone has an S54 gearbox, please let me know. It's looking pretty good right now, Hamza, huh? How's your R3? Bro, look at it, it's fucking broken. We haven't made a video on this on this bike in a while, huh? I haven't done, I've, I haven't even cleaned it in ages. Yeah, remember that muffler delete? <laughs> yeah, damn, that's actually years ago. Yeah, actually years ago, right? So here's the car right now, it's looking pretty mad. Really liking this like red that I did here. I highly recommend that mod. Just paint that strut bar and front and rear. D2 coils. So I guess that's pretty much the aim of this video to tell you guys what my future plans are with this car. You know, like I do have two options of going turbo or just doing a V6 swap, which I think will be good for content and it'll just be unique, I guess, even though there are quite a few out there. But a V6 in this chassis would be like stupid. It'd be stupid quick. That's why I want to do it. Anyway, as you saw, we got that alarm and the side skirts today. So expect the side skirts to come in around three to four weeks, I believe, something like that. It's going to be a while because I think they're made to order. Um, and we're gonna be installing the alarm today, which I'll do another video on. Pretty happy with the MR2 right now. I think that concludes the video. If you have any suggestions for different modifications that I should do to the MR2, please let me know. Pretty happy with it right now, with getting the body kit and doing the engine stop eventually. That's, that's gonna be way further down in the future. I'm gonna to have to have people there that help me because I don't even know how to even start with that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.